Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful sticky image story page using Elementor page builder. So here if we scroll down our page here on the left you can see an image and on the right side here you can see some text. If we continue now scrolling here you see the left image is sticked and only the right text are scrolling. Then if we continue scrolling here on the right side you can again see an image and now if we continue scrolling you see only the left texts are scrolling. Same with this section. So it's a really cool and handy way to tell a story about any image or even you can use this technique on any product. So you can put the product image here and you can put the product description on the right side. So basically using this technique you can talk about any product, you can talk about any image story, you can showcase your portfolio. Actually you can do a lot by using this technique. And I will show you everything how you can do that using Elementor Page Builder. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So first I want to create that easy banner section. So let's click on this plus icon and select a single column structure. Let's make the content width to full width and here let's make the height to minimum height and I'm making it 100 VH. Let's give it a background image. So from here background type let's select an image. I'm selecting this image and let's insert media. From here let's set the position to center center attachment let's make it fixed. Repeat to no repeat and size let's make it cover. Now here inside I'm just dragging a heading widget here. Then here I want it to say is take his story. Let's make the alignment to centered. Now let's do a bit styling with it. So first I'm making its color to white color and let's do some typography stuff. I'm making the font size in VW. Let's make it 7.3 and here I'm making the font weight to 700. Alright, let's now create our main section that would be our sticky image story section. So to do that let's first click on the plus icon and select a two column structure. First I'm making the content width to full width and here I'm setting the column gap to no gap. So first here in this left column I'm here adding an image widget. So let's choose the image. I'm selecting this image click on insert media. So here on the left column we can see the image. Let's do some styling with it. Go under style tab. First I'm setting the width to 100% and here height first i'm selecting vh from here and let's make it 100 vh and then object fit i'm setting it to cover now on the right column let's first add an heading widget here so here i want it to say story one now let's just increase its font weight a bit. So here font weight I'm making it 700 and underneath the heading I'm just adding some paragraphs. So here I'm dragging the text editor widget underneath the heading and then here I will be pasting some dummy text and here I wanna paste some long format text otherwise we cannot understand the stick options of the left image. So here I'm just pasting some long format dummy text. Here we go. But if we now scroll down here you can see the image is on the left and it's not sticky it's just a static image and on the right side we can see the whole bunch of text and it's not scrolling like we have seen at the beginning on the overview. Alright before doing that let's just add some spacing with this text. So here I'm selecting this column. Now let's go under its advanced tab and I'm just adding some padding. So first let's make it in percentage and let's add 5% padding all around it. And now we will be doing the most interesting thing so to make this image sticky just click over this image now go under advanced tab of this image now if we scroll down here you will find the custom CSS option just expand the custom CSS option so here by the way you will get the custom CSS option only on Elementor Pro I will put the Elementor Pro purchase link in the description if you don't have Elementor Pro already you can purchase Elementor Pro from the description link Alright now here type exactly what I'm typing here. So first here I'm typing selector and then start a curly braces and in that now in between the curly braces I'm hitting an enter. So here I'm writing position then colon here I'm typing sticky and also position sticky may not work on all browsers so here to support it on all browsers here I'm adding a prefix code so here I'm writing again position 
then here dash webkit dash is sticky and now here we need to write the last line that's top and the value i'm setting it to zero now have a look if we now scroll down the page you see the image is sticking on the left and only the text is scrolling cool again just scroll up to the top you can see the same animation actually it's not an animation so the image is just sticked on the left side and we can see the text is scrolling on the right all right now i want to duplicate this section couple more time because you may have different stories different images so i'm showing you how to do that really quickly so here i'm just clicking on this duplicate section icon now underneath here the section is duplicated so first of all i just want to reverse the column so to do that i'm just dragging the right column to the left here and from the right side let's change the image to other image so i'm selecting this image and here instead of story one i'm typing here is story two let's duplicate this section again so now let's go to the next section here instead of story two i'm typing here is story three let's shuffle the columns and here from the left let's change the image to other image and then let's just duplicate this section one more time so let's go to the next section that we have just duplicated now from here instead of story 3 here i'm typing story 4 and again let's just reverse the columns and from the right side let's just change this image so for the last one i'm selecting this image click on insert media and at the below of this page i just want to add another section that will say the end and you know what we can do that very easily so from top here i'm just right clicking on these six dots and click on copy now let's go to the bottom of this section again i mean bottom of this page again and at the bottom of this page i'm just pasting the top section now here instead of this background image so first let's select this section let's add a solid color with this section so from here i'm removing the image and here i'm adding a solid color like this and here instead of sticky story i'm just saying it the end and let's make its color to a uh, off-white color so i'm changing the color to off-white color from here like this all right to me it looks perfect and these are the main things of this page here on the right side you can see the image is sticky and on the left side the text are scrolling so everything is now looking great and interactive on desktop view let's now have a look how it's looking on tablet and mobile device so you know just go to its responsive mode by clicking here first let's have a look on its tablet view so click on the tablet device icon so on tablet device everything is looking great here also the sticks working great to me it looks really great on tablet view as well and on the mobile device we don't want the image as a sticky image so if we just can adjust the image and and the text perfectly on mobile that would be okay for mobile devices so let's do that on mobile device so let's now click on the mobile device let's start from the top of this page so I'm scrolling to the top okay so let's keep the top banner section like this and on the next section here I don't want this image this much big on mobile device so just select this image on mobile device go under content oops just go under this style tab and from here only on mobile device let's make it again vh but here instead of 100 i'm setting it to 50 vh so it now covers the half or 50 percent of the viewport height let's just right click here and copy it so we can duplicate i mean we can just paste the style on other images so let's find other images here we have got our other image here right click here and click on paste style let's do the same with all images right click this style also let's do the same with our last image here right click here click on paste style but here if we have a look you can see we have other layout complications here because here you can see the image at the bottom and text at the top okay i'm explaining it from the top so here first you can see the image first and here is the text because on desktop it was on the left column and the text were on the right column 
but if we go to the next section here you can see here the texts are coming first and then if you scroll down you can see the image after that because on the desktop this image were on the right column that's why it goes after the text but I don't want that so to fix it just here on this second section click on the six dots of this section go under its advanced tab now from here click on responsive and only for mobile device so here reverse columns mobile I'm turning it on so here on the second section you can also see the image first and here is the text let's do the same for our fourth section because the third section looks perfect so let's go to the fourth section here select the section from under advanced tab click on responsive turn the reverse columns mobile on perfect so we are done with our sticky image story page when you are happy with it just click on this green update button so that's basically it and also if you want to see this page on full screen then just click here on this eyeball icon to preview the page so here on the full page view everything is looking great the stick option is working perfectly i really like this idea you can do a lot using this technique I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. Video. For now, bye-bye.